Hello friends, this is Vinid. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Tech is Up. So today we are going to talk about less framework. So from my screen itself, you can see a small framework of less that we have something called a previous sprint, then the sprint planning one and two, sprint backlog, the coordination, the scrum master and feature team, the product backlog refinement, the daily scrum, followed by sprint review retrospective overall retrospective and next sprint so this is what it is known as the less framework so moving on to the next slide so what is less so less provides two different large scale scrum frameworks so it's all about if you have different teams how you can make sure that all the teams contribute to the same goal so they should not have a different uh, the requirements or they should not have a product owner who tells them that uh, it's it, that they are doing something different or there should not be any miscommunication be, uh, between either of the team so that everyone is contributing to the same course that means the final product should be like that whenever they are integrating the parts of their code it should not have uh, it should not break or it should have only less uh, issues so that it can be easily uh, resolved so so it's like there are uh, the two frameworks which are basically single team scale up are less up to eight teams that means one team will have eight members and less huge it like up to a few thousand people on one product so what are the less practices so less is a scaled up version of one team scrum and it maintains many of the practices and ideas of one team scrum so you will have a single product backlog because it is for a product not a team and one definition for done for all the team so that they don't deviate from uh, the definition of done that means every every team should be focusing on one definition of done and one potentially shippable product increment at each of the sprint one product owner because we have only one product backlog many complete cross-functional team with no single specialist team and we have one sprint so every team will be working on one sprint and in less all teams are in common sprint to deliver a common shippable product every sprint so those are the less practices then the events so first event is like sprint planning part one in addition to the one product owner it includes people from all teams so so the team members self manage to decide their division of product backlog items and team members also discuss opportunities to find shared work and cooperate especially for related item and this is sprint planning part two so actually this is held independently by each team so the sprint planning part one is with the whole the team so in the sprint planning one what they will the, the team will decide which uh, functionality they are going to work on in sprint planning part two so the team that they have taken the functionality from that each the team member will start uh, taking some of the a small task and they will be working on it and then we have the daily scrum so uh, the daily scrum actually this is also held independently by each team and so the um, and a member of team a may observe team this daily scrum to make sure that uh, all the informations are shared between all the teams and they have to make sure that everything is done the proper way then the coordination just talk communicate in code travelers open space and communities so that's how they coordinate then they have a overall product backlog refinement so actually there may be an optional and short overall product backlog refinement meeting and that includes one product owner and people from all the teams so the actually the key purpose is to make the teams to implement which items and select those items for later in-depth single team PBR so it is also a chance to increase alignment with product owner and all teams so actually it is to just make sure that all are on the same page that means everyone has the requirement understand clearly and no team should deviate from the requirement and then we have the product backlog refinement so the only requirement in less is single team pbr the same as in one team scrum but a common and useful variation is multi-team pbr where two or more teams are in the same room together to increase the learning and coordination then we will have something called the sprint review so in addition to the one product owner 
it include the people from all the teams and the customers and users and finally they will uh, the team will show the demo of what they have implemented in the sprint and then everyone will be having their own review the customers will give their review and the team will make note of it and make sure that the changes are implemented in the coming sprint and then we have something called overall retrospective so the all the teams will be coming in the uh, in that uh, retrospective and actually it is to explore improving the overall system so it's not about one team it is about the overall team and the maximum duration is 45 minutes per week of the sprint and it includes product owners, scrum master and rotating representatives from each team. So finally, what are the 10 principles of less? So the first one is large scale scrum is actually a scrum only. So it is not new and improved scrum. Less is about applying the principles, elements and purpose of a scrum in a large scale context. That's all. But it is still a scrum. Then empirical process control. So actually inspe inspection and adaptation of the product actually those all the the process that we are uh, using in a scrum the empirical process we are still making use of it in less itself. Then we have transparency. So actually based on tangible done items short cycles working to the common definition and all those things. So they are making sure that the process is transparent. Then more with less. So in empirical process control in lean thinking and in scaling then whole product focus one product backlog one product owner and one potentially shippable product increment one spend regardless if there are three or 33 teams then customer centric identify value and waste in the eyes of the paying customer so reduce the cycle time from every their perspective increase the feedback loop with real customers continuous improvement towards perfection Create and deliver a product all the time without defects that utterly delights customer, improves their environment and makes lives better. Then we have system thinking. See, understand, optimize the whole system and explore system dynamics. So actually it's about, it's about so you have to avoid the local and sub optimizations of focusing on the efficiency or productivity of individuals and individual teams. Customer care about the overall concept to cash cycle time and flow, not the individual steps. So that's why we have to bring in the system thinking and lean thinking. So lean thinking is all about how to avoid the waste and all those things. So it creates an organizational system whose foundation is managers as teachers who applies and teaches system thinking and lean thinking and manage to improve and who practice go see at Gemba. So add the two pillars of respect for people and continuous improvement all towards the goal of perfection. Then we have something called the last uh, principle, queuing theory. So understand how the systems with queue behaves in the R&D domain and apply those insights to manage queue size, work in progress limits, multitasking work packages and variability so when we make use of these 10 principles actually we say that we are following the less framework so that's all about uh, less uh, 10 principles and then we have finally the conclusion about the less so less provides the entire product view which guarantees transparency in the work you do the teams are in direct contact with the customer which enables the teams to grasp the actual idea of what the customer really needs. So that's actually what uh, we are missing in most of the uh, scale projects. With lean thinking, there is minimal waste. So that is the main purpose of lean. And teams are feature oriented, customer centric, and their approach is multi component. Dependencies are handled at the integration level by sharing code bases with other teams. So the role of management is focused on defining the vision and nurturing of the team members so product owner defines and prioritizes the high level requirements for the teams so and the teams coordinate with each other frequently and share the code base there are design and architecture workshops to align synergy across all teams and focus towards the end product 
One big room backlog refinement session is kept for each spin where each team works on their own backlog and have the opportunity to contact the other team at the same time. DevOps and continuous integration is key for smooth delivery to the customer. A team should deliver a shippable agreement at the end of each spin. Frequent retrospective and inspect and adapt sessions are also helpful in ensuring continuous improvement. So these are the final takeaways from the less framework. So I hope uh, this session is uh, has added some uh, value about less framework to everyone. Thank you everyone and have a good day. Bye.